We are officially in a polar vortex and that means extreme cold. The Facebook group along with the comment section on YouTube has shown a lot of concern for those of you with perennials, whether that a permaculture setup with fruit trees and fruit bushes all the way to more ornamental perennials, you name it. And that is a valid reason to be upset about a potential polar vortex. But this polar vortex in particular is bad. And the reason for that is because we had an incredibly warm December with little to no snowfall. And this lack of snowfall has left our soil very exposed. So today's video, I'm gonna go over how to get your perennials, including your lawns and seeded plants, wildflower beds, you name it, through this polar vertex to the end of it and come out on top. Despite the fact that somehow we're still an El Nina is very confusing. So ultimately speaking, a polar vortex is a cool, mass of air that comes down from the Arctic and is cold. And by cold, I mean minus 50 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 40 degrees Celsius without wind. Once you put the wind on top of that, it can go 10 to 15 degrees lower. Now, one of the major concerns with this is exposed soil. Exposed soil is more susceptible to a deeper frost and ultimately speaking plant roots specifically designed to zone three or zone four or zone five which is getting hit by this are meant to survive only certain temperature dips and it going below that in the root biomass section can result in a mass die-off which will ensure that the perennial is not supported in the spring and summer season. So how do you, as a gardener, prevent your plant from negative effects of a polar vortex that lacks snow? And the answer is actually mulch. Now mulching can come in the form of wood chips, straw, newspaper, old blankets, old t-shirts, or, and or snow if you have it. And this means taking all the snow possible and placing it on your lawns, your rose bushes, your plant tree roots, your bushes, your vegetative perennials, even your seeds or bulbs such as garlics or wildflowers. All these things insulating that area will ensure that the plant will hopefully come through on top. I wouldn't encourage any form of solarization because unfortunately with this level of cold solarization is not going to pull the plant through to the end so mulch is going to be number one number two is that with this can come some moist air and with some moist air comes what we call hoar frost and what that means simply is really heavy frost that accumulates on our tree or bush or shrub branches so any plant perennial that has upper biomass unfortunately is exposed to this really intense heavy snow now with this we can end up with broken branches and snap stem other than that this frost or the piling on of this heavy snow actually won't affect our plants so the utilization of canvas wraps or simply going in and knocking off that excess snow or frost buildup will hopefully pull your plant through to the end and ensure that it's healthy and thriving in the spring. So the two things you wanna do for this unfortunate, very cold deep freeze is mulch, 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 even if it involves snow, and cover, cover, cover for any upper biomass. And this includes your lawns, very important to remember. If you guys enjoyed it, thumbs up. Comment down below if you're going through the polar vortex. I'd love to know what your temperatures are. I'm always curious. We're cold, we are very cold. Cars hate their lives right now. So <laughs> I'll talk to you guys next time, bye.